Some lawmakers are calling President Trump a racist after he tweeted about Maryland Representative Elijah Cummings and his Baltimore district. The president called it a disgusting rat and rodent infested mess. Well, today he doubled down on those comments saying, quote, there is nothing racist in stating plainly what most people already know, that Elijah Cummings has done a terrible job for the people of Baltimore itself. The president's comments came after Cummings, chairman of the House Oversight Committee, questioned the way the Trump administration treats undocumented immigrants at federal detention centers. Well, St. Pete Mayor Rick Kreisman defended Cummings in a tweet saying, quote, Does Baltimore have challenges? All cities have challenges. But it is certainly a better place to be than the America the president wants us to live in. Urban cities aren't perfect, but they are welcoming, diverse, vibrant, and serve as engines of innovation. They make us great. Well, Angelina Salcedo joins me now, and you spoke with his deputy mayor about why Kreisman joined in on this conversation. Yeah, Candace, it's an important one. And Deputy Mayor Kanika Tomlin told me Kreisman thinks local officials play an important role in the national conversation and government and felt the president's comments warranted a response. We're seeing a pattern from the president uh, where disagreement results in specified attacks against people and the places they represent and the mayor and our entire uh, team feels very strongly that we need to champion. And now Mayor Kreisman talked about the challenges of running a city, especially one like St. Pete that is changing and always growing. Yeah, change happens quickly, but it isn't always easy. And St. Petersburg is actually seeing that in a lot of it actually right now. St. Pete's population is extremely close to Tampa's and it continues to grow. I want you to take a look at this. Back in 2018, Tampa's population was more than 335,000. St. Pete is just about 69,000 people behind at 200. 66,000 and as that population continues to grow on both sides of the bridge, St. Pete has its own issues to address. Here are three things that they look at. Now the first one we're going to talk about is affordable housing. The city wants to make sure people on all incomes can live here. Kreisman just unveiled a 10 year plan that aims to create and preserve more than 4,000 family units. He says this could impact 19,000 people in St. Pete and we could see spots with rent as low as $600 a month. And then there's crime. There's the crime rate, something impacting most major cities. St. Pete violent crime task force drastically cut the crime since it started in 2016. We've seen burglaries and thefts go down at least 42%. Now, along with fighting crime and making sure people can afford to live here, the city's innovation project is booming. The neighborhood directly south of downtown houses the Pointer Institute, University of South Florida, and Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital, which originates out of Baltimore, which is actually in Cummings District. Now, the city is growing the population while keeping the lines of communication open and city leaders say that's the key to finding out the pulse of the city.